Creating virtual local area networks, VLANs, and assigning ports to them allows network segmentation and improved network management. It helps control traffic flow, enhances network security, and enables better organization by grouping devices into separate logical networks based on their specific requirements or functions. In this episode of Cisco Tech Talk, I'll show you how to create VLANs and configure port to VLAN interface settings on a Catalyst 1200 or 1300 switch using the command line interface, CLI. Next. First things first, log into the CLI for the switch. In this video, I'll be using PuTTY, a free and open source terminal emulator. The switch is connected to a computer via the console port. In the PuTTY configuration window, select Serial as the connection type and change the speed to 115200 as the default value of 9600 will cause PuTTY to not connect properly. It's important to enter the correct COM port number under serial line. This is assigned by the computer when the serial cable is plugged in. Newer laptops don't have serial ports on them, so in this case, a USB to serial adapter needs to be used. When the adapter is plugged into the computer, it assigns a COM port number to it. To find the correct COM port number when setting up PuTTY, on Windows, go to Device Manager. As you can see, COM4 has been assigned in this case for the serial line to make the connection. I'll go ahead and enter COM4 in the serial line of the PuTTY configuration window. Once you've configured the PuTTY settings, click Open. After accessing the CLI of the switch, type the command configure to enter the configuration mode of the switch. Next, enter VLAN database to go into the VLAN configuration mode. After that, you can create VLANs based on your network configuration. In this example, I'll type VLAN 100 name management and press enter. Similarly, I'll assign VLAN 200 for marketing and VLAN 300 for engineering. Once the VLANs are configured, use the exit command to quit VLAN configuration mode. Now that the VLANs are set, it's time to assign the ports to the appropriate VLANs. You can configure ports using the switch port command and specify whether the port should be in access or trunk mode. To do this, you need to enter interface configuration mode for the specified port number. I'll use port two with the command interface GI2 and press enter. GI2 is short for gigabit ethernet two. Enter switch port mode trunk. In trunk mode, all VLANs are permitted by default. To allow VLAN 1 and the newly created VLANs on interface 2, use the command switch port trunk allowed VLAN 1, 100, 200, and 300. You can add the native VLAN, the untagged VLAN for the trunk, with the command switch port trunk native VLAN 1. Moving along, select interfaces three through six and make them access ports. To do this, enter the command interface range GI 3-6 and then switch port mode access. Once that's done, enter switch port access VLAN 100 to assign VLAN 100 to these ports. After that, type interface range GI 7-10 followed by switch port mode access to make them access ports. To assign VLAN 200 to these ports, enter switch port access VLAN 200. Similarly, I'll enter interface range GI 11-14 and make them access ports by using the command switch port mode access. Type switch port access VLAN 300 to assign VLAN 300 to these ports. Use the end command to quit and then show VLAN to look at the VLAN information and settings. Finally, to save the configuration, enter the command copy running dash config startup dash config and then Y to confirm. There you have it. You've successfully created VLANs and assigned them to ports. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.